All right, for starters, it says right here, guaranteed to cut donuts, tomatoes, and toilet paper. Doesn't sound very promising. No, I just made that up. This is just kind of for fun. Uh, we have a whole series of me designing a tiny house slash shed art studio, a potential Airbnb rental right here in my backyard behind this camera area here. You can't see it now. Check that out on the channel. But uh, I'm taking a break from that. This is procrastination because I was at the dollar store buying some candy and I figured I'd try out the world's potentially worst handsaw. By the way, hands-on tiny house workshop, don't worry, we're not using any of these tools. Happening Regalwood, North Carolina with many guest hosts, uh, live demos, talks by bonfire, and a collective group build over three days in April. Relaxshacks.com has the details. As for the saw, um, this was from Family, not Family Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree, which is a, you probably have them near you, picked up this saw. You can find some cool stuff at those stores and some total and absolute crap. Let's find out what the story is here. So there's a close up of it. Chintzy little plastic handle. Um, you can see the, so the grommets, the actual nuts in the back, so you can take the handle off if you wanted to. It's probably gonna fly off on its own. One dollar one US dollar. Uh, it is, let's see, it says right here, 12 inches long. I bought one of these in a pinch doing a home show talk in Oklahoma City recently, but didn't have a chance to use it before it disappeared. I was very distraught. I had lost my dollar value in this saw, so I just bought another one. All right, for starters, it says right here, guaranteed to cut donuts, tomatoes, and toilet paper. Doesn't sound very promising. No, I just made that up. Toolbench Hardware is the company. The mark of quality. Sold wherever unfined goods are sold. So, comes with a cardboard sleeve, as many saws do. That's probably half the budget right there. With the saw guard on it as well. First impressions. It's flimsy. It's thin. That'd be kind of interesting if this one actually outperforms some of the other saws I, I own. My go-to saws are usually just a, uh, and they're cheap ones too, or mid-range. The Erwin Short Boy Saws. You know, the toolbox size ones, I like those a lot. Those are like under 20 bucks. Any of the Stanley Fat Max saws, I use those over and over. They're kind of my favorite. I'll add some links below. This might help you, might not, but check them out. Uh, let's try this one out. All right, so this is a two-in-one video. It's cold out. It's going to be seven degrees tomorrow here near Boston. So I figure I might as well cut up some scrap wood and stuff I want to get out of my yard for a while. So I will, two birds, one stone, do this saw demo as well. Let's try this out. I'm gonna reposition the camera a little better here. Actually, it's not that bad. The, the main problem here is the handle's so tiny. I prefer the saws that have the little divot here so you can point your finger outward, thereby being able to better control the saw. A lot of people don't know that about hand saws. It also has, and this is something people don't realize as well, we talk about this in our hands-on workshop, some of the basics of tools. There's a stop right here and one here. When you ram this against a board, that becomes your 45 mark. When you ram it against a board this way, say this is your board, and trace this off, that becomes 90 degrees. A lot of people don't realize that. It's your quick and easy, you know, especially in off-grid building, you need a quick 90 or 45, it's built into the saw. Other saws will have a bigger uh, you know, hanging point here. Some of them have designed that to be able to open bottles, namely beer bottles. So when you're done with the job, hopefully done with it, you can enjoy a, a nice cold high life. But for a tiny little saw that's a bucket, I just wonder how good the metal is. How, how, yeah, this is, it's already binding, so I take that back. The saw kind of stinks. But listen, if you're cutting like little sticks or pruning something, might not give you the cleanest cut, but for a dollar, I'm not sure well, I, I do know how they make money. It comes from China, and they make these like 10,000 at a time. But, yeah, it's binding up. It's cutting, but not so well. So in this case, you get what you pay for. Now, real quick, I'll show you one of the other saws I have. All right, here's a Craftsman. Bought it at a yard sale for two bucks. This thing is not in prime shape, as you can see, but let's compare them. Speaking of which, if you don't have much money, First of all, don't buy the dollar store saw. Don't go to those lengths. But I find tools all the time. I swear to you today, I found a saw sticking out of a trash can on my walk uh, with my dog. 
that I grab that at a flea market would be five to 10 bucks. People throw tools out all the time. Toolboxes, toolboxes, they throw a whole toolbox away, which is crazy. All right, the comparison, first of all, the metal on this is a little bit thicker. Uh, the handle doesn't have the divot that I prefer. It does have the 45 and 90 degree mark. And yeah, this is, see how that glides? I'm not even really putting much force in it. I'm letting the saw do the work. People make that mistake where they bear down on the saw and it ends up warping and twisting and it jumps out of the kerf, you know, and cuts their hand very badly. Let the saw do the work. So, I mean, I'm already through that. There's firewood piece number one. I'll cut this one in half again just to show you how quick this makes work of things. Don't really have any means to stabilize it. Yeah, this wood's pretty wet. There you go. This saw is not that sharp, but it's doing a heck of a better job than the dollar store saw. And there you go as I stare right into the fading sun. I hate these days where it gets dark at like 4 o'clock. Uh, I gotta go. Thank you guys for watching. I have someone coming to buy some jerseys I found on the side of the road. I'm selling on Facebook Marketplace. So we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Take care.